All right, what's up, guys? Because always, welcome back to our UBL game versus Sven and his Uppsala Umbrians. Now, Sven is also a Swedish player, which means that comes to jävligt kul. Um, so great to actually have another Swedish player. With that said, both Sven, which my you know, my opponent now and my future opponent, are in the top running for. Uh, for the league and that means I am not gonna go all out with my teams as they are very likely future opponents again so that said I decided to be a bit more creative <laughs> took some creative liberties and really just don't want to lose too badly so let's hope that's a thing really excited to see the swim broad um yeah looks great um bit surprised not to see Septa, which I think was a very tough Pokemon for me to deal with. But other than that, I think this looks the part. Um, huh. <laughs> it makes my choice banded uh, fracture less uh, less credible uh, by far. But I like what he's bringing. I'm actually gonna start up with um, Aldaris, I think. Besides, like, Rodent Lead is annoying, but that's about it. And. Uh, Really cool seeing Rapidash, um, but like I said, for for this matchup, I just kind of, I I don't necessarily need to win, but at the same time, if I'm going all out with the team I first assigned, I might have a chance. But if I take that route, uh, the the fortunate part with that is that I am definitely uh, losing an edge in case I face him again. So it's weird. I hate designing with that in mind as that makes the game so complex for all the wrong reasons but just when it's Sven it's so hard saying English is Sven <laughs> but anyway really really good luck have fun let's hope we do something great here start us off with fish sticks so you know I don't think this is the worst lead I could have gotten at all um, that's it, we should be able to stomach a crunch. I think Poltergeist is quite free. Uh, and that's what we're gonna go with, as I think more while it's a good switch in. Um, goes for flip turn, that's fair. Oh, that's banded. That's a banded guy for sure. Maybe I should have sucker punched that. So like I said, Mawal seems to be a very good solid military on switching. I think he's thinking whether or not I go for Horn Leech, or if I've gone for no, neutral stab. Um, am I overreading this? <laughs> Teeth. Yeah, so that's a mobile. Kinda regret not having an earthquake, but I, I had a reason for it. Though it's never a good thing to uh, avoid it. Right, Polter guys, see the lift was as fair. And Polter guys will do, I guess, alright anyway, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Unfortunate part is that um, versus this, I mean, the player off in between, like, there's a 4 KOS for me at best. So I don't really want to try to overstay my welcome, basically. Um, so the question is do I go to Van Heist or do I go to Eclipse? Or Lumen, I mean, high horsepower is kind of nice. Um, Says Ashbringer is kind of redundant, also. There is no way to play roughs. I am overthinking this badly. I mean, if I were him, I'd clearly go for Stealth Rise, right? Damn it. It's so hard. <laughs> I'm sending a clip, so look, I have not a good switch into this. <laughs> I really was going super aggressive, and now I see the team in front of me, and this is not what I was uh, anticipating. Not to say I'm not, like, doing well versus what I got, but I'm definitely... My switch-ins are far in between <laughs> for working. So, Earth Power, very safe, very obvious too. I think a Rotom is a good switch-in for him. And, um... Yeah, like, I can't... I can't overpredict that. He has the option to actually just switch in freely, but he also needs to be very or you no know, scared about maybe maybe I'll do the harder switch or play. But I won't. 
<laughs> it's so like I don't know like I only want to get oh he stays in nice not that I think Urpar kills but oh cool reduced like I, I just need a differential for me that aren't are making sense <laughs> Great. Um, switching here, Basculin. Yeah. That's, that's for sure. So, flip turning again, I'm sure. Or crunching. I'm uh, still sending Eldars. I mean, I at least get the chance to soak your head, but also kind of invite Rapidash to kind of finish me off. Well, let's see what it's trying to do. Flip turn, flip turn. Wow, yeah, I can probably not do them too many times. If I were him, what would I do here? I think Rapidash is such a solid mon. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> that scares me out. Flare Blitz. I can only switch in and out so many times after all. Singing Ashbringer, I mean, if anything, it kind of scares him out. Or, it depends. If his soul senses, then I gotta deal with that. Let's find out. River Defensive, it will always, but that would be incredibly annoying. Um, yeah, that would be incredibly annoying. <laughs> Fuck. Great. I'm not gonna lie, I gotta like that was the route it took. I am not in dire need, however, of this Pokemon at all, so with that in mind, I am outraging here. So, probably Morning Sun, right? I'm just leveling back and forth here. I like the Rapidash, it, it doesn't need to be defensive, but just, it is definitely a defensive response, it makes a ton of sense. Um, it is just how to beat it. Withdraws, great. To bone to pick. Yeah, I mean, I go out all out power, and it's still yeah, yeah, it's good. I probably die to an earthquake, but to the very least, Marowak is definitely not uh, enjoying this situation. God, I hope I get some weird roll on my side. No, no, stealth rocks. I have another outrage, which means. That Marowak is dead. So the good part about that <laughs> is that it's now if I lose it is a minus four. So, so we're getting there. We're definitely getting there. Plus, just leveling here. Um Chikibuku is annoying, and I don't believe I deal with well with that at all. And uh, a small part of me knows I don't deal well at all. Huh. Um, I think Rapidash in theory can win due to it being so defensive. Doesn't need to, but both Basculin and... Um, that's gonna be annoying for me. Let's see, here comes Zap. I know you. Probably Hex. Saying Aldaris um, probably can't stomach a hex, but I think I can bait if I manage to survive it. I uh, should be able to sucker punch it with another hex that follows. That's a big maybe. Rotom is not necessarily all that weak after all. Eh, no, it isn't. Alright. That's not really what I want to see. Lumen can definitely pressure. Clear up a roll. Or Sun Headbutt is actually quite safe. Yeah, let's do that. I still have an option to heal in the wish if I have to. Um, 
a bit scared about uh, it being able to will with me. But I'm pretty sure that this could invite. Uh, he stays in. Great. And um, don't be able to wisp. Oh my god. It can wisp. <laughs> still though, good damage. And I still a healing wish, so like that is an option I still can run with. He needs to sack play this. Or he could bring in... Um, hmm. If I were him, how would I go about this? He probably didn't expect that damage output anyway. As of right now, we're kind of looking solid. Way more solid than I wanted it to be. Definitely contrast what I was planning. I mean, he gets my my mons of wisps like cripple, and still I'm here fighting for it. Right. I really want to chip this guy down, so I'm not too too sad about this. But I kind of also expect, quite frankly, him to be able to run Morning Sun. And if so, then this could be um, something I can't deal with in the long run. Could I bring Aspringer? Just Aspringer. Yeah, I'm gonna bring Aspringer. Um, there is no way he would you would Morning Sun here. I definitely would. Sitting in Eclipse. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to define like what is the last matchup and what can I do against it. Let's see, Mystical Fire. That's unfortunate. So it's special. I would kind of say I'm that too. Um, all right. Did not expect that for sure. Great play. I mean, versus Basculin, he's gonna switch that in. Stomach a hit. I think I would take that route. Or would he bring Fukumuku? Zap. Yeah, of course. I really forgot about the Rotom, didn't I? <laughs> Fuck. Still though, I'm a Salt Vest. I probably should be able to stomach this. Say probably. X, come on. Luna, I need you to kind of work here. Woohoo! Hey! <laughs> cool. It was a sack play anyway, so I'll take it. <laughs> Alright, cool. Um, right, Basculin, Pyokimuku, and uh, Rapidash. He flips turn with the fish sticks. Yeah, like there is nothing to it. I really... I have no switch in that makes sense to pull off here. So I just sack it. Or er, er, power in case that's something weird. Flip turning. Yeah, nothing to it. Let's see what it brings. Alright, back to you. I don't like the idea of me getting chipped. I really don't. I 
but I need some proper big damage on this. Withdraws, great. Two Kukibuka, I'm sure. Let's see what he has. Has he terrain? No, he has not. He has lightning rod. <laughs> you know what the worst part is? I was kind of thinking he could maybe not have that. Wow. This I like. I was so obsessed with the idea of him having... Uh, you know what? Never mind what I thought. I like this. Um, let's see. Scald. Cool. So special attack race. Don't give me burn already. <sighs> it's not pretty. It is not pretty. <laughs> it's definitely not pretty. <sighs> wow. Yeah, I did not want to see this this early. I really didn't. Spikes, that's fair. Leftovers, possibly recover. Like, I'm just glad I haven't right at minus three. How, how weird it sounds to just say that I am happy if I'm just able to um, bring this down to something else. Yeah, recover. Nothing to it. Question is... How do I want to try to wrap this up? Everything in my team is burned. <laughs> or has a status. Alright, withdrawals, I think that's fair. Basculin probably the switch to come in here. Oh yeah, I don't do anything, do I? If I were him, I probably would go for an Aqua Jet here anyway. Kinda hope he overprotects. Guess I get some more chip on it. Yeah, nice. Just wish I did more. <laughs> right, liquidation. Let's see. I'm gonna take a big risk here. Hope I can survive an Aqua Jet. Or did I force a switch that would be even greater? That I did. So let's see. I don't want to give myself Willow either. I am in that weird wrap up where I gotta take a risk of him missing the Willow Wisp. Like my team is falling apart, but I'm just like here, so happy that I'm just not broken. Yeah, like I can't try to um, to bring back and forth. Ah, if only you missed once. That was all I needed. So I'm kind of glad. I mean. Like I get still got a crit, right? Yeah, there we go. Nice. <laughs> yes. How about that? So 
So minus two, I can do minus two. I want to draw it to minus one, but I can do minus two. I'll still gotta take at least one more hit. Yeah, Chukumuka makes more sense and just try to recover it off. I think that's something I would want to do. And just let the burn will me down. I do outspeed him though, so if we get another crit, then things get kinda nasty. <laughs> oh my god, it does so much! It just doesn't do as much as I want to, and that's problematic. That said though, I can in theory probably save this first impression, maybe. Switching man height, man height, van height, and just throw spec shadow balls. This move should only be like spikes. Spike skulls, maybe toxic spikes. Recover. Probably filler and discharge. I really couldn't say much more than that. So I think I am in a good spot to just spam. Shadow Ball, hoping it does enough for me to not be killed by Skull. Because that's the situation we're in right now. Vaseline can't come in on this. So let's see. Spec Shadow Ball will do. Not enough. But Skull, unless he get Fuck. Alright. Not even an option, I just get the burn directly. The hacks is not on my side this game. I'll, I'll say that as as much as I got that crit or that crit outrage, which definitely helped. But now I can just recover through this, which is definitely unfortunate. So unless I get a special defense decrease or a you know, surprise. Um it's so frustrating. For all the wrong reasons, like I just wanted to really, really push down here. I just needed that to work. Come on, give me a crit or something. Something just very, very nasty. Because yeah, he can just recover through all of this. Now I'm in skull range, which, which I probably encourage him to do. Um, so I can just say my wrap up plan here because I probably can close this to 1-0 if I'm lucky, and I'll really mean lucky. Um, but my theory was that if I could get him down here and probably kill him in a matchup or force a switch um, with a special defense decrease or something like that, um, that that would have been incentive for me of actually getting a first impression on the Basculin. Unfortunately, we don't get there. Um, So it looks like he insists on spiking up, which... I mean, in the long run, will it matter? Like I said, the Skull will kill me in two turns. And I could, in theory... No, no, I won't do that. I can't do that. I shouldn't do that. But a crit would be nice. A crit will settle this game. Or a special defense decrease. I'll, I'll happily take both. <laughs> but I, it looks like I won't get either. Which means I probably lose this game 2-0. Ah, damn shame. Like, the game did go way better than I was anticipating. So don't get me wrong here. Like, I was anticipating a loss, but I definitely felt it, it could have been thrown for more. And even more so with uh, this, if the band, this guy, the Pyukimuka, I was gonna say, but with Pinchurchin was, um, uh, what do you say? Um, um, electric training, that is. But instead he built it to be able to deal with Jolteon head-on. And I felt more stupid that I didn't bring Toxic, which I was considering over Rising Voltage, because that would have settled this matchup. That said, you know, I am... <laughs> honestly, I'm just glad I'm losing this, as I hope to, oh, but yeah. Never gone through so many Shadow Ball without actually getting uh, 
a special defense decree. So it just would have been nice to not be forced to face it full on. And then again, without me being burned would also help. I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm sounding salty. I'm just, I, I'm not salty. I'm just trying to. There was a scenario here where I definitely were in the running. <laughs> <laughs> and I just feel so frustrated that that didn't pan out because I'm pretty sure I almost had it but taking a 2-0 loss is definitely way more than I was going to be able to do and um, yeah, he keeps recovering because this out was 2 at KO and without the burn this would have been a straight out KO and, and that is what blows my mind a little bit, that it was just so close, but I needed to get that one right. And yeah, probably should have switched out versus Rev Dash and forced Jolteon to take maybe that bird to chip it down afterwards. But I still would have been forced to deal with this matchup head on, and uh, just, it won't work. It just won't work. Ah. <sighs> I don't know, I, I hate the slow deaths, but I know also Sven plays naturally very, very bulky offense, almost, like, he he, run, he plays a stamina game, and I know that going in, which is why I went with so many choice bands and specs, because I know defensive teams need to be broken, and um, sometimes this is the best way of going about it, really. Uh, but that said, I really enjoyed this game, and way more, I, I, I did way better than I thought I was going to do. Um, I just really hope the wrap-up was faster for both of our sake. I hate those slow matchups where I know the loss is coming, but the only way for my opponent to win is actually to just not offensively do anything. It makes no sense of doing that. Uh, so I really want to see Sven start this battle. I think he has definitely um, a rougher game like mentally than I had. Uh, and for me, you know, we're definitely in the running for playoff thanks to this. And hopefully if we face start next time, I'm going to bring the team I want to. And uh, I want to see what he brings, um, for sure. That said, very happy to battle him. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this game anyway, even though we had that slow wrap-up. It wasn't that long of a game anyway, was it? Uh, yeah, anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Check out Sven, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care, on. Right? Bye.